load. <laughs> well, how do you keep track of it all? Do you do you keep a concordance like so many authors do? I I've had to. Yeah, I've I've got a a kind of obviously rudimentary but a map, so to speak, of what the galaxy in my books look like. I, I want to someday get it put inside the book and inside the mm -hmm. cover, but I haven't gotten that, haven't made it look pretty enough yet. Yeah. Um, but I have basically where the different groupings of planets are based on my writing so that, like I said, I can make sure that when I'm going to certain areas that I'm staying with what would be in those areas if they needed to run to another planet mm -hmm. to escape the government or whatever. <laughs> The Confederational Regime, which is the name of the government in my book. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, I've had to do that, and I've had to not so much make a family tree so much, because there's not a lot of relations in this book, but I have had mm -hmm. to, to make a listing of who's involved with who and what their rank is in the, the CRF, which mm -hmm. is the Confederational Regime, regime um, mm -hmm. that is the, the fighting squad side of them, I should yeah. say. Um, the ranks that each person has and where in the story they came in so that I can make sure that I tie it correctly in because there are a lot of characters that go from book one right straight through the series um, sometimes changing allegiances mm -hmm. but they I need to make sure that if I have them be a vice admiral in book one that if they suddenly become a two-star general I explain how yeah they got to that point um, so yeah I've had to I've I've found that especially going eight books into it if I didn't have something figured out I would have been yeah. lost <laughs> well yeah yeah you better know what you're doing by the eight oh, times. yeah yeah it's it's a lot of a lot of work went into them but it was well worth it to me anyways so tell us about any upcoming appearances you might have in the near future uh, actually I have one tomorrow beyond the unicorn craft fair at the middle school in Springfield here right here in town is going to be um, nine to four, I believe it is, and the admission is free. Well, not by the time the audience sees this. So. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> um, so then it was. I was thinking, today, I was thinking a little, a little further down the road. Down um, the road. At this point, I don't have anything immediate on the horizon, um, other than once the spring market sh starts up again, I will be setting up at the um, community market or farmers market, depending on Springfield Farmers Market. I think is what they've chosen for the actual name of it. Mm -hmm. I will be setting up again at that. Usually they do either the Memorial Weekend or the first weekend in June. Um, mm -hmm. Will be probably my next scheduled appearance. I may find some other shows in between there that I don't have on the books yet, but that's my next planned appearance. Um, but I do, I have occasions where somebody like you, for instance, have called and asked me to do things that come up kind of spur of the moment, and mm -hmm. if I can fit them into my schedule, I, I go for. So you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Check my website. There is an events page on there. Okay. And I think we're going to have to let it, let it go here. Amazingly, I always think we're going to run out of material. We never do. The, the time just flies right by. Yes. So once again, Lisa J. Comstock, and your, your website is? Uh, BrimtierChronicles.com for the Pirate series and LisaJComstock.com for the conglomerate works, which includes the Pirates and my fantasy novels and some works in progress. And of course, you can always reach me, Steve Seitz, and find my books at www.seitzbooks.com. And of course, you can send suggestions to for book talk here. You can come on yourself. I'd love to have a book club on so we can just discuss a particular work, for instance, for example. We, we cover a lot of material here. Anyway, I thank you for spending this last half hour with us, and I hope everyone has a good evening. Thank you.